Hello everybody, this is Johnny. Let's make a game together. For this game, we will need some paper, a half sheet of paper, something to write or draw with, let's see, some coins, some dice, and, uh, oh, maybe a bear. Let's build the game board. So we're going to take the one sheet of paper right now and turn it a little bit sideways. What I want to do is draw a circle in this corner, a good size circle, another one, another one, and one more in the other corner. Then I want to think about a triangle and putting another good size circle right here, another one right here, and another right here. And then we want to go up and add two more. We have four on the bottom, three, two, and one last one. And let's turn the paper and give these some numbers. This will be number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That's a great start for the board. Let's add a few more details. Let's put a little triangle here, one here, and one here, and on the, and on the opposite side as well. Those are great. And one last thing that's special about this board, we need to have some of these with stripes on them. Because these are the bowling pins. We're making the game called Strike, and it's a bowling game and we'll be using numbers and our operations to help us knock down pins. So we'll call this strike. Alright, so there's our good game board. We'll need a scoring sheet as well. So on this we'll have player one and player two. You could have more players. You'll need bigger paper though. And then you need to have the numbers 1 through 10 on the side here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Let's put the letter S for score and T for total up here. S for score and T for total up here. Now we've made all the game board parts. Now we'll need these. What we need are the dice. Let's put them over here. And we'll need these coins as well placed on each of the circles of our game board. These are going to be the pins. So we want to cover up every one of them. And I'm going to go over the rules for the game now. Everything's good. We don't need this anymore. Look at our great game board in pieces. So player one's going to go first. And player one's going to roll and rolls a six, five, and a six. Now here's what player one's trying to do. Player one's using these dice to try to make each one of these numbers, one through ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, by adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing. Sometimes they can make all of them. So if a player one is able to make all of the numbers, one through ten, that's a strike and there's a bonus for a strike. The strike bonus, if you make a strike, is equal to 20 points. And then there's also something called a spare, which I'll talk about, and a spare is worth 12 points. Let's see what player one can do right now. First thing I see is that player one can make the six and can make the five. Player one can also make the one. Six minus five is one. Now any other numbers? Are there any other numbers that player one can make? Now this is where the math comes in. So if 6 divided by 6 is 1, and 5 minus 1 gives us 4, we can take that pin too. So with 6, 6, and 5 on the first turn, 
Player one has taken down one, two, three, four pins. Now on every turn, the player gets to roll twice. If they're able to make all the numbers work for all 10 of them, they get a strike and it's only one turn. But now, player one gets to choose which of the dice, could be all three or two of them or just one of them, they want to roll again in order to knock down the other pins. If they're able to knock down all 10 pins in their second turn, all the remaining pins in the second turn, then they'll get a spare and get those points. So player one likes the, likes the six, but doesn't like these big numbers with the six and the five. So player one rolls these two again and gets a four and a six. These don't look so great, but let's see what's possible here. Well, I'm seeing some other numbers now. I'm looking here, can we make a two? Six minus four makes a two, so we can take that one. Can we make a three? Well, six minus four is two, and six divided by two gives us three. All right. Now we have most of the pins down. Can we make the seven, the eight, the nine, or the 10? Well, let's see. I'm not so sure about the seven, but I think we can make an eight. We have a six, and six minus four is two, so six plus two gives us eight. Can you see a way to make a nine? I'm not seeing it very well, but I do see a way to make a 10. Six plus four is 10. So in the two turns, player one was able to take down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pins. And so player one's score for the first turn is eight, and the total for all turns so far is eight. So now we put the pins back because it's player two's turn. And player two rolls three dice. Again, one, three, and four. And it's trying to do the same thing. Now the first thing I see is obviously one is knocked over, three is knocked over, and four is knocked over. Is there a way to knock down the other pins? Can you see it a way to knock down the two? Well, I see three minus one is two. What about five? One and four make five. Can we make six? Well, four minus one is three. Three and three is six. Seven, well, we've got the seven there. Can we make the eight? I see a one, a three, and a four. Four and four make eight. Is there a way to make the nine? I can see making nine by going four minus one is three. Three times three makes nine. There's only one pin left. Can we make a 10 with these three numbers? I'm thinking of all the ways I might make it happen. I can see four times three is 12 minus one gets us 11. I'm not seeing a good way to make 10. So in this turn, on the first turn, you can see that player two has knocked down nine pins. Can player two make a spare this time by taking out the last one? Remember, a spare gives 12 points. So player two likes the number four, hoping for some kind of six-ish number that comes up with these two. So player two rolls again, and there's the six. Six and four makes 10, so on the second turn, that player two had, player two was able to make the 10. And because they made a spare, meaning in two turns got all 10 of them, they're gonna get 12 points for this one. So player two has 12 points. And the total for that round is 12. It's player one's turn. Need to put all the pins back. And player one's hoping for a strike maybe this time. Let's see what happens. Player one rolls a five, a three, and a two. Let's see what's possible with these. Okay, let's see what we can do. How do we find the one? Well, the one, three minus two is one, so that pin's gone. Two and three are pretty obvious, two and three. How do we get a four? Well, three minus two is one. Five minus that one gives us a four. What about five? Well, five is obvious. What about six? Oh, two times three makes six. What about seven? Five and two make seven. 
8 is pretty obvious too. 5 plus 3 makes 8. What about 9? That one's a tough one. Oh, I think I have an idea. Look at these. 5 minus 2 is 3. 3 times 3 gives us 9. And is there a way to make a 10? Oh, that's the easiest one. 5 and 5 make 10. Player 1 has rolled a strike, and a strike is worth 20 points. So player 1 gets 20 points. Add the 8, 8 plus 20, and the total at this point for player 1 is 28 points. So this is the game of strike. For this game you needed some paper, something to write with, dice, some counters, and uh, oh yeah, make sure you have the bear too. Hope you enjoy this game.